So have you all been to your local Walmarts lately? And have you noticed how everything is like changing? The place is crammed full of all types of goods. I mean, you name it, they got it and lots of it, right? There's still a few empty spots on some of the food on the shelves in those areas, but nothing like what has, you know, been going on over the last couple of years. Prices definitely have gone up, but Walmart is getting ready to unleash some mega sales because they have to get rid of all this product. And we're talking a huge amount of inventory. Now, I want you to listen to something real quick. And this is from Bill Simon. He used to be the CEO for Walmart. And how he's talking about where this company is at and how they got there. All right. So listen to this. Cut one. Simon was the Walmart U.S. CEO from 2010 to 2014. He's now on the boards of Darden Restaurants and Haynes Brands. Bill, great to have you with us. Hi, Melissa. How are you? Good, thanks. Um, I got to get to the 32% growth in inventory year on year. How, how does one explain that? I understand that it's a supply chain issues. There are all sorts of unusual things, but 32% is a gigantic number. It's crazy. I mean, that's like 8% would have been high. 15% would have been terrible. 32% is apocalyptic. I mean, so you heard it right there. 32% overstocked in as Walmart as a whole. Now, he's going to be talking here in a minute about how much they're going to be trying to reduce the price and try to move this product and everything else. Something that you all need to be aware of. We have no idea how long some of this product and a lot of these things have been sitting in containers. Could be for a year. Who knows how long? We're not going to find that out. So I would highly suggest to everyone out there at this point in time, if you're looking to score on some of these deals, that you really make sure that you can return this product if it doesn't work. And something else that you really want to pay close attention to right now, folks, is using your credit cards. Interest rates are on the rise. It's going to cost you more money to use your credit card than just to pay cash for it and be done with it. Um, so I would highly suggest that you, before you make any big purchases, you want to make sure that this is something that you need and not want. Something that's going to benefit you, something that's going to benefit your family, maybe in a survival situation, but you just don't want to be blowing your money right now, no matter how good these deals are. And I have a feeling, folks, they're going to be putting a lot of this product out here and they're going to be discounting it so much. People will not be able to resist the prices and they're going to buy. They're going to run up their credit cards even more and... They're going to be in a world of hurt come later on this year. Now listen to what else he had to say. Cut two. That's billions of dollars of inventory. That's just, frankly, just not managed very well. So was this an execution problem mostly in your view? Well, it's hard to say, but, you know, it would seem to be if, if, if you take the 32% inventory in conjunction with the $100 million over budget that they reported in markdowns, so they're talking over a hundred million dollars in overstock. A hundred million dollars, folks. Yes, Walmart's stock did take a big hit not too long ago. But I mean, they got a hundred million dollars in overstock. And you want to know why? You want to know why they have that? They were not paying attention to what they were doing. And um, it's going to come back, I believe, and it's going to bite them. And maybe some of you out there are going to get some really good deals on maybe some really good products. But I just urge you once again to really pay close attention to what you are doing. Let's go to cut three. Maybe they were ordering to try to stay ahead of the supply chain issues and then the product came in and it came in late and they didn't, they didn't cut the orders in time. I mean, there was a lot of things that could have, should have, would have been done that, that just frankly weren't. So once again. When they were placing their orders, nothing's coming in. So they just kept placing the orders. 
And then all of a sudden they see all this stuff's coming and it's too late because they didn't cut the orders. They didn't stop the orders. They didn't do any of this stuff. So that would explain why what I see in my own Walmarts that I deliver to, why their back rooms are so crammed full, why there's trailers parked out there that are loaded to the max with goods and what is taking place. You probably see it when you go to your own Walmart. You can barely walk down any of the aisles. They got stuff packed and stacked everywhere. I bet you if you went in the bathroom, there'd probably be a stand in there. So this is what's taking place, folks. And we really have to pay close attention. So listen to what he has to say about what consumers are doing and how they're changing the way they're buying. Cut number four. Uh, as customers trade it out of uh, wants and into needs. So as you see, people are starting to buy. They can see that. They're not buying what they want. They're buying what they need. And that's what you need to focus on. These sales are going to be incredible, folks, because they're going to try to recoup this over this $100 million worth of overstock that they have. And don't be the guinea pig. Don't be the one giving them your money. I mean, you really have to sit back and really think about this. And a lot of the consumers and everything else, you know what they're doing? They're not buying name brand anymore. They're shopping for nothing but the low-end Walmart brand. They're looking for the best deals wherever they can save money because they have no other choice because of the boat that we're in with the inflation, high gas prices, and everything else, high rent and mortgages, interest rates are up through the roof. So what do people got to do? Cut number five really important on, on many different levels because Walmart is the largest employer in the United States. It's yep. the biggest retailer um, that you see anywhere. And what we're talking about, what we're trying to figure out here are two things. One, how's the consumer doing? It sounds like overall the consumer's still strong, but I think it's very interesting what the CFO told you about how they are seeing some behavioral changes because of inflation. Does that mean people are trading down from name brands to, to house brands? Yeah, exactly. And he gave the example with lunch meat specifically that they're trading down to the private label. So either Walmart's own labels or other exclusive labels that Walmart has that then are going to be lower priced than a national brand. And then also, interestingly, moving down to half gallons of milk. So there you go, folks. People are trying to save money however they can and do whatever they can to survive. They're trading down now. Now, how much longer can they afford to do that? with the prices of food still rising. Okay, so gas prices are coming down, but the prices of food are still rising. Walmart has to recoup over $100 million worth of this overstock. They're going to be throwing these deals out there left and right. Don't fall for it and don't sit there and just buy it because it's an unbelievable deal because it's going to come back and it's going to get you folks. Try to buy the deals that make the most sense. Not what you want, but what you need. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me on this Sunday video. So you all stay safe. You keep prepping. Keep your mindset of you're going to buy what you need, not what you want. And don't fall into the corporate greed that they have to remake up a hundred million dollars worth of overstock because Walmart dropped the ball. Don't bail them out. Till next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side.